right, here we go. Race day one. We're here. It is five o'clock. We're at the start finish line uh, for the Fink Desert Race 2022. Uh, trophy trucks behind me. The boys have dropped that off this morning. They've just run back to the race shed uh, to grab the 688 car. The Mack truck's already down at Fink. It left yesterday afternoon. And the plan for today is what? What are you doing today? So I'll be following the chase car today yep. um, to what just past the halfway point, 140. Yep. yep. Um, Bundoomba. Bundoomba. And then we'll take off from there. I've got Rob, I've got Mia. We're going to get down to Fink and just sit there waiting anxiously for you guys to roll over the All right, All right game plan for today. You two? What uh, is it? There and back, baby. There and back. So today is there. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, there and just have a little bit of. Fun. Yep. You gonna try and push today or not? What's your plan? Yeah, yeah. Of course, like yeah. Like, yeah, just like a mild push. Yeah. Okay. Just All right. Our game plan. Just get to the hundred. Yep. Get to the hundred and step on. Yep. So as for today, we want to get down to that hundred k mark. We've got a lot of work to do. We've got a lot of slower cars in front of us, so it's going to be dusty as hell. Um, but I think it's going to be all about patience to get to about that hundred k's. Track opens up. Wind starts picking up at about 8.30, uh, 8 9 o'clock, so by the time we hit the 100k mark, there should be a breeze over the track. And that's where the truck will work. And that's where the truck's gonna come into its own, and that's where we're gonna go. So, race day one, here we go. Today is about there, tomorrow is about back. Think 2022, let's get it done. Let's get it definitely not starting from where we want to be so we actually ended up uh, in position 53 after yesterday's mess um, and we're 15th in class out of I think 26 cars in the class so we're like kind of midfield look it's just it's not where I wanted to be yesterday I was just I was gutted I was so emotional I was just yesterday was one of the worst feelings that I've ever had right I know I can drive it better than that I just I don't know what went wrong yesterday I was just uncomfortable New shock setting in the truck, new gearing in the truck, um, and again, not excuses. I just, it just didn't feel right, and I just made an absolute mess of it. Like I'm not, we're just not having that feeling that we had last year of not crossing the line. I've got a lot of work to do. There is now 12 side by sides in front of me. 12 side by sides prologue quicker than me, and and that's hard work. Feeling this morning, how do you feel? Um, everything's definitely very crazy. It is. It's really, really busy out here this morning. Um, you know, the nerves, Which they one? are like every other year. I do feel a little, little bit calmer. Yeah. Um, I guess because the boys and Justin are a lot calmer as well. Um, this time we're not up in the helicopter. And we have to chase all the way down to Fink. So it's that nerve wracking time of being down there and waiting for them to come into Fink. But, you know, fingers crossed. We're excited. Got up early. And yeah, good luck, boys. I'm very confident I'm going to do pretty well this year. I don't know why, but I've got a really good, strong feeling about it. They looked really good in Prologue yesterday. Unfortunately, a few things didn't go quite in Justin's way or the team's way, but I think I'll make up for it today. Stay safe. Yeah. Absolutely. Have fun. Yeah. Have fun. Yeah. Do what you do best. Yeah. Give it hell, mate. Yeah. yeah. Nothing to lose. Yeah. Everything to prove. Yeah. Give it. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Alright, boys. Have a good race. Yeah. I love yous. Give it hell, Justin. I'll see you down at the bank. Yeah. So we just left the racetrack. We dropped the boys off. Two cars. Um, it is now almost six o'clock. We should have left probably 15 minutes earlier. We're stuck in a little bit of traffic here that's kind of slowing us up. Um, so for us, we're, the track's kind of divided into thirds. We're going to get past the deep well checkpoint where the track crosses the road first because as soon as the car and P1 gets through there, we can't cross. So we need to be in that middle third. And then we're probably going to cruise down to about Bundoomba and wait there. Um, we've got the sat phone with the checkpoint notifications coming through. So we'll wait till Justin will come through first and then when the boys come through we'll just make sure they get through safely and then we'll make a move. Um, we've got the ram, we've got the toy hauler on the back if anything goes wrong. We've got a bunch of tools in the back I think. Hopefully we've got enough fuel. Hopefully.
hope, hopefully it's an uneventful morning. But the track's track is kind of an adventure of its own, really. Okay, so we're on our way to Fink. The sun is just coming up now. Um, so we've got Rob. Rob is driving. I am the navigator. we got Mimi in the back there. Okay, so what the goal is, see that, the chase ram, see that beautiful Patriot trailer. We want nothing on the back of that. <laughs> For the first time, we don't want it to be used. See that? Nope. We want that clear. Not one thing on the back. Left one. Yep. 
Okay, you got a right one into a left two. Right one, left two. Yes. Yep. And then you got a right two, left one. Yep. Right two, left one. Yep. Okay, so we've just gotten to Bundoomba, so this is where we're going to leave the chase room. Um, hopefully they're going to have nothing on the back of that and it's all good smooth sailing. Um, we really have to track down the track, everyone's taken off. Are we excited? We're excited. Are you nervous? Let's, let's yeah. get down there. Once we get there, I think you kind of, that's when the nerves set in, you kind of sit there, you're just waiting patiently, you don't hear anything, but um, yeah, got to keep that excitement. They're going to get there. <laughs> Extremely excited at the moment. Halfway point. Hopefully we'll get there before the boys do. So right now we are the furthest point that I've ever been on the track. So we're going to chill out here until Justin and the twins come by. Um, get the sat phone ready, start getting texts of where they are on the track. And then once they go by, we'll, f we'll head down to Fink and meet them down there. safe so just yeah a bit of a case of heavy, too much heavy foot too much adrenaline pumping um, but yeah no we're all good listening to this you know it's good to know what's going on but at the same time like your nerves are just just up the whole time we got our we got our boys our men in the car it's kind of hard to hear I don't want anyone to be injured in this race. Um, if he's stuck behind it, if, they, if he's behind that car, yeah, they'll be 
slowing down if he's in front. Let's just hope he's in front so he can just keep going. But right now we're just hoping they're not on their side. That's all. The temp, the engine temp gauge was holding 80 the whole way. Then we pull over, we turn it off, and then back on 120.
Oh, so happy. Justin just went through. Uh, the plan now is we wait for the twins. Um, wait to get notifications once the twins go past. We'll, uh, we'll head off and we'll meet them and think. No worries, thank you. Off we go. It lost power again, and when they went to restart it, um, it's got a roughly noise at the engine, so. All right, so we just got a phone call from Tim. Um, the twins have actually broken down about 83 k's out of Fink. We're gonna go get them. There's a rattling noise coming from the engine. So, let's go get them and find out what's going on. Guys, we've been here for about half an hour. <clears throat> no, more than that now. Yeah, probably like, no, like an hour. All right. Yeah, probably like an hour now. So, me and Ashton, we've chilled out. We're having a bit of food, a bit of Pepsi Max. Shout out to these guys at the 80 ish K mark. They gave us like food and water and all that. Yeah. So, so we're feeling all right now that we've kind of accepted what's happened. But yeah. um, there was no coolant in the tank when we uh, checked it and let it uh, cool down. Got up to about 125-ish degrees, so the thing overheated, and then now that we've tried to drive it over here, the gearbox is making a terrible noise. Like, bad. So we'll see what's going on, and hopefully we can fix it and run all the way back t tomorrow, but that's racing, and that's what Fink does, so yeah. That's what happens, so that's, that's why we keep what, on coming back. What it, happens. it can't it be easy. Race car, they give, they give, then they take a lot, and then they give more, and then they take it back. It's just, it's, what's the word for it? It's love. There's bad moments and there's good moments, but you just gotta keep on going, keep on pushing through and make this little relationship work. <laughs>
Okay, so we're just coming up into Fink. We've just done um, the crossover, and um, so it crosses over onto the track. So they just let us know that we're the last car that they're gonna let cross the track. So, um, yep, we made it. Now, check out the setup. Waiting for the boys to come in. This is exciting. Hey, guys. Um, this is nerve wracking. From this point, um, yeah, I don't know what to say really. It's probably not going to be much coming out of my mouth until they're over the line. You know, it doesn't get any easier. But, yep. Okay, we've just gotten to the finish line. I've kind of picked our spot over this side because you'll see finish line comes around and then they track back. You can see this buggy coming through here now. So this is the point where we can meet Justin um, and we'll be able to see him at the end and give him a big cuddle. Justin and Jamie are grinning from ear to ear just to make it. Woo! Yes. Was the best thing I've ever done in my life, ever. You know how many cars have been through when you come through? How I many? Oh, I reckon we got it. We got to be top 20. Top 20, because we're also we got to be. We'll find out. There's I'll get excited when we get the numbers. The Mate, it's feet, baby. How's the race? Straightforward. Yeah. Extremely straightforward. Yeah. Just follow the notes. Yep. Took it easy. Got uh, smelled up a couple of times by a few of the slower cars that weren't listening. We're pumped. Yeah. So, yeah. I felt amazing. The, the pace notes were absolutely on point. Jamie was on point. I think I drove probably the best that I've ever driven. I had, oh, we had two offs. One was kind of half off, but one was proper off. Yeah, only that one mistake, and I drove within the limits. And Yeah, I think we started 53. We're going to be top 20, maybe even top 15. Um, what took 20 cars on the track and then everyone was on the side of the road so yeah, it's got to be at least 30 cars down it's going to be really interesting to see what our times was i think our time worked really well for us but i think the attrition's worked well for us and it's going to be a it's got to be a top 20 start in the morning i'm really keen to find out what mm -hmm. it uh, what it actually is yeah <laughs> all 
All right, so we're up here at the finish line getting here because it's kind of exciting. You can see up there, this is the Fink checkpoint finish line. Now, uncorrected time, we're 25th across the line. So they haven't done the corrected timing yet, um, which means, hopefully, fingers crossed, we're definitely in the top 20. Now, to come from position 53 to 25th crossing the line, I think we drove the wheels off at eight, yeah? So I'm really stoked with that. Keen to see uh, what happens with the corrected time. We've also just notified, we got word that the recovery car has now picked up the 688 car. So we've also just come up here and notified um, the scrutineers up here that the 688's been recovered and DNF'd. Um, so hopefully the twins will be back here in the next um, next couple of hours. Happy with that result so far? Yeah. Yep. I think that's badass. So um, we'll come back to you later when we find out. Fourteenth outright, baby. Yeah. How do you like them apples? Oh, that's yeah. good. Fourteenth outright, sixth in class. Yeah. Yeah. Good job. How's that? Good job. So we got what? You smoked a lot of cars. Oh, Twenty-eight cars. We both got ice cream today. <laughs> Jamie, Jamie, we want a man hug. There you go. Not money. Oh, no. yeah. Can't believe it. Fourteenth outright from fifty-three. All I wanted was a top twenty. Look. Can't get too crazy about it. Like tomorrow is a whole nother day and anything can happen. Um, like I said, the attrition has worked in our favor. Um, the dust worked in our favor. The truck worked in our favor. My team worked in our favor. My navigator worked in our favor. And I drove the freaking wheels off that thing today. I've just got to do the same thing tomorrow. I wanted a top 20. That's what I wanted last year. That's what I wanted this year. I'm there. I'm right in the middle of where I wanted to be. I've just got to get this freaking car home. But dude, goosebumps. 14 out right. Um, we did it. We can do it. We know that the truck's good. We know that we can get down there. I've just got to sort that prologue thing out and um, and maybe room with the chance for the future of racing. For the future, Patriot race. To get changes, it is hot out out here. Yo! Desmond! What's happened? Um, oh. so it had the same inter the same intercooler issue. And then um I was I was watching the engine temp, the engine temp kept at 80. So then we pulled over after about 30 or so K's just to try and reset. We pull off, turn it off, turn it, turn it back on, 80, 80 on the engine temp. We jump back on on the track, give it a hit. Engine engine temp goes up to like 125. Then the engine dies and which coast off. We um, started up again after it was fully cold, and now the box is making a really nice looking sound. So, okay. Uh, Listen, you want, you want me to make it all better? You want to yeah, make Mom everything just, better? Told me, you're doing really you're well. You're in here. Don't worry about that. No, no, no. no. I'll better. make it all better for you. What? That's, we're going to retire the 688 car after this race. You all right? Gotta get it to Alex. We're going to come up with a plan this weekend around a couple of it. See everybody's ears just prick up. Buggy, mate. <laughs> Alex buggy. We're gonna, we're gonna make a plan tonight. Yep. Yeah, we're gonna figure out what the next is. Yeah. Enough's enough with that car. <laughs> it's done four things now. Yeah. Yeah, it's done four hard race seasons. Let's see if we can figure it out, get you guys to drive the thing home tomorrow. Yeah. Then we're gonna make a plan cool. and we're gonna get you guys into something that you can actually compete in, alright? Sweet. Yeah, because that Polaris just ain't working for you. You're out driving it now, alright? Yeah. Cool? Yeah. yeah. Oh, and I'm 14th outright. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sick. Don't be disappointed. Let's have a good afternoon. We'll see if we can suss it out. Get you in the car tomorrow. Cool. But the next race, you're gonna see the twins and a brand new Patriot racing car. Yeah, bro. Yeah. That's it. I don't know where it is. Where is it? Where is it? Pick a number, any number. You wanna know where we're at? What you got? You guys are fast. Mm -hmm. I guess. Like when you came past us, you were only a 14. few minutes off Toby. 
What do you reckon? Something stupid like eight. Four don't doubt right then. Yes! <laughs> Four don't doubt right. No shit. Yeah. How, do you, how do you like them apples? Hey, baby, well done, mate. What do you reckon? Awesome. How'd it go? So awesome. I can crush it. Well yeah. done. Things an animal. Mate. 53 to 14. Things an animal. So between the attrition and obviously the run, yeah. mate, it's put us in a... Couldn't ask for any better. Top 20, we're like well inside of that. We're just going to get the car home tomorrow. Yeah? If we get it home tomorrow, dude, we'll have a top 20 finish at Phoenix. Yes. Well done, mate. Sick. Congrats, bros. Well done. Awesome. Yeah. Gold. All right, cool. All right. Razor time. Let's get let's get the razor sorted out. That is like the best news I could ever have. Oh, I can still remember last year being in this exact spot and Justin coming in on a trailer and just just heartbroken. I did want to be here when he come through, but the opportunity to get in the chase truck was just too much. That is an experience in itself. So as far as I know from the boys, it sort of overheated, went into limp mode and stopped. We did run it for a second down the track. It sounds like there's a chain that's come loose and it's just flopping around making a whole bunch of noise. But we'll get it in, pull the tabber cover off and let's just have a look, find out what it is. If we can fix it, bonus. If we can't, then unfortunately that's the race. Today we did be getting out really well. We were really comfortable and happy with the in car. And then we got about two k's out of the, the stadium, and then it just all went paired in shape from there. Uh, it's the I think it's the tensioner on the timing chain. It's slapping. So we'll um, pull the head off, not the head, but the valve cover off. We'll pull the tent around and have a look at what can be, where the cams are sitting. It obviously hasn't hit the valve yet, so... Hope it's something we can fix, because we can steal parts off the, um, the pre-runner if we need to. So we got just out of the stadium, and then we had a warning light up and down dash, which was the same issue we had yesterday during prologue, so we lost all, all boost, and we were pretty much just running the car NA. I was checking the engine temp, engine temp was just um, chilling at 80 and then we pulled over at about 75k mark just because we wanted to try and and turn the whole car off and then back on to, to see if if we could try and reset the intercooler pump and it all went bad, well it, it all went worse from there. The team I have behind me is just, they're, they're incredible, eh? they, they really are unbelievable. Look, we have our struggles, we have our moments with the boys, you know, I have my frustrations, they have their frustrations with me, but, you know, when we get out to race weekend, you know, it's it doesn't matter what needs, to, anything that needs done, it, it just has to happen. You know, so obviously my race team that you guys see right throughout the episodes, you know, those boys have, um, have got our back, they're the ones that, that get us here and, and make it happen. But it's uh, the, all the other people around me that you might not see on camera. You know, Kent from High Talk being in here. You know, he's been in there wrenching on that car with Jamie, um, just as a mate. You know, he's he's out here as a mate. He came out to think because he wanted to be part of it. And you know, I've got Juddo here as well, who's the guy that I want around me all the time that can lift my spirits from absolutely anything. You know, from the disaster of Prologue yesterday. You know, he's he's got a a good head on him and a good spin on everything and he's a racer as well you know he's an, an old motocross racer and he was one of the one of the boys I used to look up to as a kid you know I used to watch him ride as a kid and be like man you know so to have him out here is you know kind of like a mental coach with all the all the other boys that are out here that are wrenching on the cars and that's not it's not all about the truck you can see what's going on there you know Steve's got his job but all hands are on deck on the 688 car they're not taking no for an answer. They want to see the boys finish Fink. They want them to get the seat time. And we're all here, you know, chasing that same feeling in Alice Springs tomorrow, have both cars cross the line. And it's, um, hopefully, um, hopefully we can get it done. Yeah, day is, day is not going as good as we planned, but we're just going to keep doing what we can to see if we can get the car good enough to be able to run tomorrow. And we're just going to have to see what happens.
Happy. Happy. Truck is happy. Justin's happy. 688, not happy. Not Twins, not happy. Not happy. Um, but we've got the A team on it. So between Kent, Jamie, Jack, and the rest of the crew that are here, they'll figure out what it is. Whether we can solve it, that's a whole other thing. It sounds like they've gone through everything. It sounds like it's deep in there. Um, I'm, I haven't really had the update whether it's gearbox or engine, but it's, at this point, it's looking terminal. I'm not being pessimistic, but it is looking terminal. But you never know. These guys, if they can't fix it, no one will sort it. All right, the annual Camp Patriot. You keen? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. So look, I, I think this year we were going to bring. Um, I was going to bring some other people down to Camp Patriot with me, but these two have had a pretty, uh, pretty bad day. I'm still on cloud nine. <laughs> Try and lift the spirits up a little bit. Let's yeah. get down and remind us what we do this for, what it's all about. Everybody who's yeah. out here supporting us. You guys on the tube that are supporting us, all of our fans on social media, and our Patriot family um, down at Camp Patriot. Yeah, yeah? yeah. you can. Always. Yeah, you guys feeling all right? I mean, yeah. Yeah. I mean, no, you can't. Yeah. yeah it's fine. Do anything. You have to change it. So. Mate, look, we'll like get you. We'll hopefully, get you back in the seat tomorrow. Yeah. yeah? Hopefully. Yeah. Let's get in the chopper. All that will go away for the next hour. Um, let's go see the family. I'm always keen um, to get into age chopper. I love these things, so um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to go down and see the whole Patriot crew. And this is the exact this is the exact thing we need right now. We couldn't, we were sitting around camp, I'm like, I've got to come and break the news. We just saw we're a chopper and we're what, like, what, no, what? it's not them. We it heard can't you be them. 14th outright. No way! Oh. Yes! 14th yes. yes. outright, six in class, yo. Oh. Yeah. Oh. What up, kiddos? Are you allowed That's a beer? Good. It's the only reason I came. Let's go get a beer. I brought you a beer. Hello in no to camp Patriot in the helicopter and it was just good seeing everyone. Everyone was very happy with Dad's result. So it was just nicer to see everyone and really and it just really lightened up everybody's mood. Alright team, everyone having fun? Yep. Yeah. Good to catch up. Yeah. We'll see you guys on the way home tomorrow. Good you luck. and you. Back to the chopper. <laughs> How good's that quick visit to the crew, huh? Yep. Yeah, it's been good and fun. Pretty cool. All the family out here, Patriot dealers, Patriot owners, um, just so cool. Yeah. Hey, Done. Camp Patriot's cool, man. We're missing Camp out, Patriot eh? Is cool. Yeah, we are missing out, but we get to race cars. Yes, exactly. yeah, and we get to see everybody in Alice Springs tomorrow um, for the Patriot Campers after party. Yeah. So back in the chopper, get back to camp, and um, see how everything's going down there.